Nice meeting you guys. My name is Jack. I've been in the office probably five, six years now. A um, little bit about me real quick. I have a horse. I have a dog the size of a horse. I have a pig. I have chickens, goats, all that fun stuff. So never judge a book by its cover, right? Um, but I've been doing this 18 years, right? And, and I feel like anytime I go on a listing presentation, I'm good to go because I've been doing this so long, right? Go wrong because about a year and a half ago, I was sitting at a listing presentation. I had my beautiful brochures, my listing packet, the comps, I felt comfortable, and it was actually a referral. And we love those referrals, right? I mean, those listings. It's almost a lay down when you go Yeah, are so much easier. So I'm sitting down with them, and all of a sudden, they hit me with the question, we're thinking about going with Open Door instead of you. They don't charge commission. <laughs> and I didn't have the answers to that. I mean, thank you. God, we have a broker like Jeff who's so passionate, but coming to these meetings, using Kendra's for a hundred bucks, I mean, that's a joke, to save your time. So you can have this, you can have these tools to take with you on your listing presentation, right? If you have all these tools, anything comes up makes it a whole lot easier. So I don't sit back and just accept the fact that I didn't get that listing right away because of that open door thing. Luckily, I had a rental property that I was selling at the time. So I called up Open Door, and I said, can you make me an offer on my property? Oh yeah, no problem, I go online, do all the information, and I'll be honest with you, it was super easy, punching in all that info, it took me like five minutes. So then I got an offer, right? It was my property on Copper Bay. I had it listed at the time for 330,000. Offer came in at 290. I was like, oh, thank God, I'm still in business, I'm not scared of these eye buyers. Everything's all good. What's the fees look like? 10%. I go, okay, but I thought you guys don't charge commission. So of course, it's the clever thing. Experience. It's the, it's the clever thing they throw in there. I said, okay, what else? We gotta come check your property, where to look for any repairs, anything we need to do. So I had that information with me. Two days later, I called my client back and said, can I come back and sit down with you and go over the listing presentation again? So I sat down with them, I go, you're right. They don't charge commission, but they charge a 10% convenience fee at, at the time. They, right, were that, they yeah. change the names probably every week or right. every month. <laughs> at that point, they were blown away. I did a net sheet, show them what I was gonna get them, and I got the listing. But to go back to my property, I ended up having it on the market, and I didn't sell it for 330, I sold it for 329. Okay, so if I would have, I mean, not bad, right? Um, if I would have sold it to Open Door minus the 10%, I would have netted 261000 Okay, that's a little bit of a difference, right? Instead, I walked away with 310 And I offered the full commission, right? I didn't bring it down, 3%, all that good stuff. So I was like, I'm great. So now anytime I go on a listing presentation, or I'm talking to clients, right? Because I don't know if you guys have worked with Open Door on the buyer side, it's pretty easy, right? You want repairs done. This is a price, they're really easy to work with, but unless you have this information, we're not gonna educate the people, our clients, when we're just talking at a game, having this information. And unless I went through this and reached out, I would have known on these listing presentations. So that was about a year ago, right? So this has been going on for a while. This is a no surprise thing. And just so you guys know, with these fees and everything that they're giving, I don't know when that video came out. The the first one was out about three weeks ago. The, the one with the new homes was out last week. Okay. So well, these fees old. are changing all the time, right? Does everybody know there's paid parking now when you go to the strip? Mm -hmm. Right? When it started, no big deal, 15 bucks. Now they're up to 25 It's the same thing with these fees. So I'm going to give you a little information. And I went into Jeff's office and... Everybody probably around thought we were fighting because we were screaming, we were passionate because it's irritating. I mean, look how many agents are in the office right here, and we have 300 agents. If they don't know, how is the word going to be spread on what's going on? I'm sure the taxi cabs thought, ah, no big deal. What's Uber and Lyft, right? Yeah, now hotels are giving two, three lanes for Uber and Lyft, right? So unless we educate our clients, our friends, and get the word out there, it's going to be an issue. I mean, there's no hiding it. So this is my favorite one. Um, Mindy and Justin are on my team. They're getting their license now. We were sitting at an open house in Southern Highlands. Our listing there was 530000 
my seller is moving to Colorado or Texas, he's not sure yet. So there hasn't been much activity, so I called the house down the street, I called the listing agent, and I said, I saw you went into escrow, what's going on? Well, we're selling it to Zillow. I'm like, okay, great, how's the offer look like, right? Sometimes they'll tell you, sometimes they wanna extend you about it. Oh, you'll see when it, when it uh, records. Okay, great, I thought we were a team here, right? So, a couple days before, she finally says, we're getting close to list price. The house was listed at 5.30. So, it records, records at 520,000. And uh, so I called Zillow, and I said, I wanna make an offer. They say, use the website, it takes five minutes. So I made an offer, and obviously they have to make the offer to me, not my client, because we listed the property. So I put in the information, the next day, I get a phone call from Seattle. I see on my caller ID. I'm like, oh great, another telemarketer. I answer the phone. This is so-and-so from Zillow. We have your offer. I go, wonderful. I've been waiting to hear about it and go over with my client. She looks on the computer. She goes, oh, I'm sorry. Actually, it's not ready. It might be a couple days. I said, I thought you have the offer. Aren't you writing the offer? No, we have a, 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 a brokerage in Vegas and this channel, that channel. I'm like, just call me when you have the offer. So the next day, she calls me. We have the offer. Offer is that, <clears throat> before I tell you real quick, our property was comparable on square footage on the other one, except ours had central vacuum, tankless water heater, an extra bathroom, so obviously our property is worth a little more. So her offer came back at 486000 Our list price is uh, five twenty. That's a little bit of a difference. So I'm like, this doesn't make sense. So I look it up, and the property recorded for five twenty. Zillow bought the one down the street for 520. So I called the lady back in Seattle and I tell her, you know, I'm, I'm, I might not be th that good at real estate, but it doesn't make sense how you bought the house down the street for 520. Ours has more upgrades and you're buying it for 486. This doesn't make sense to me. Help me figure it out. She goes, well, good news. We can make another offer in 30 days. I go, okay, I have good news for you. I'm gonna tell my client to accept that offer for 486. Because guess what happens to your comp now? They bought the house down the street for 520. They put it back up for sale for 530. And if we accept their offer, our new comp is 486. She was shook up. She's like, I just work behind the desk. I don't know anything about real estate. We're, we're a tech company. We have somebody in Vegas who handles that. They're an expert. I'm like, they're a great expert if they comp this at 486. You bought that one for 520. I go, so I'm gonna talk my client into taking this offer so your comp is destroyed. What's your fees? Well, the good news is we only charge 6.9%. I'm like, that's not bad. I go, what about the 3% commission we're offering? Oh, we're gonna take that too because our standard fee is 9.9%. I go, okay, so I kinda of did the math for my client and I was like, this really doesn't make sense because if you're giving them 10%, you're giving me 3%, and all those other hidden fees, they're gonna net about 460,000 on the house. So that's quite a bit of difference, right? But even if we weren't involved and they were just buying it from the homeowner, it's 10%. So these numbers that they just talked a week ago, it could be wrong, it could be updated, but these are the numbers. I have the offer, I printed it out, I have all the information, and it's 10%. So right off the top, 50, 60,000, gone. It comes just like this, 486,000. Talks about sell to Zillow, talks about traditional sell. And they're gonna get $5,000 in repairs, period. Yeah. Okay, because they're gonna repaint it and carpet it with the seller's money, period. So, at the end of the day, I was worried when I saw the 520,000. Right? I got home, I talked to my wife, I went out and pet my goat. I'm like, we're in trouble. Right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you're going to be getting hay this month, but we're going to be in trouble. Because if Zillow's buying houses at market value, which this lady from Seattle claimed they were doing, we're in trouble, honestly. All of us are. But when I found out 10% fees, repairs, Goats are eating good. We're still, we're still okay. <laughs> we're, large. we're still okay, right? So knowledge is power is, is the, the, the thing here, guys. We've got to know what, what, to, what we're up against. 
Uh, we don't have a rebuttal, and they say I'm using open door Zillow offer pad, and you go, well, okay, I, I guess I'll leave. You're going to be in trouble, and that's exactly what they're going to start doing. So real quick, what I'm going to do with this information, I'm going to laminate it, make it look a little prettier, and now when I'm at my listing presentation, if that question comes up, boom, I pull it up. Just like, I don't know if you guys have seen it online or on the MLS, the, an agent taking a picture of the bathroom and you can see them in the mirror. I keep that in my, in my bag too. Because if they have, you know, oh, uh, what do you offer? Well, I bring in a professional photographer. They're gonna talk shortly, they're amazing. We use them a bunch of times. You show them quality. You don't show them a picture, you know, a picture of an agent like this in the background. Because this 1%, guess what guys, this isn't, this isn't something new. This isn't taking over the market. Who remembers help you sell? Who remembers all this stuff? You get what you pay for. And if you're one of those agents who just put it in the MLS and you're done, fingers crossed, hopefully it sells, right? I just put it in the MLS. I took pictures with my beautiful new iPhone. That's not gonna happen. And that's, that's the agents who'd be worried. I'm not worried about that stuff because I know what I bring to the table. Well, the one thing I'm gonna give Open Doors, Zillow, and all those, you guys, they do make it simple. And they do Very make it simple. easy. But listen, but why don't we concentrate on making it easy as, as well? Let's don't make it a hassle to buy and sell a home. Right. And if you've got a client that says, listen, <coughs> I gotta get out of here. Hey, your house is worth 500. Let's let's put it on the market for 460. I'll get you out of here. You wanna pick your own place and date? We can do that too. I mean, we gotta find what they're rebutting and giving a rebuttal to it. Right. You can pick your own closing date. Okay, you can too. Uh, I gotta move quickly and I wanna sell it for less. I can do that too. Can I throw a story? Or less, no, please, real please. Real quick, I don't wanna take up too much more of you guys' time. But recently, mm -hmm. I had my client, we put an offer on a horse property, 700,000, they had two offers. Um, I told the agent, she knows me, she talked them into working with me because she knows it's gonna be a smooth transaction. Guess what the hardest part was? My buyers were contingent on their house selling. So try to get that offer accepted when they're not even on the market yet. But they wanted the house so bad. She wanted her horse in her backyard so bad. She's retiring, she, this is what she's wanted her whole life, right? So I sold it to the agent. We got it pushed through, but that's what I did. Guess what? I priced it. I didn't overprice it. Like how many percentage of the listings out there right 60 now? 60% are over. 60% are overpriced. I didn't overprice. I priced it a little bit lower and still did the beautiful pictures. They actually did our pictures. Looked amazing. Guess what? We had 15 showings in two days and four offers. We listed at 380, we got 391. If we weren't in a hurry, I would have listed at 399, right? But instead, 380, we got, so we can do the same thing. There's, really no, there's no secret And actually, we talked about it at that meeting last week. It's exactly that right there, Jack. If your clients saying, we know them better than Zillow knows them. So why aren't we doing it? Why aren't we saying, listen, you got to be out here. Let's price it competitively and get it done. Right. And they were happy. You got them off the market, sold, and everything's working great. Thank you guys for your time. Thanks. If you have any questions, let me know.